So in much the same way as we differentiated in the last problem, we're now going to differentiate y is equal to the cube root of cosine of x. So this is a function of x, this is cos x, within a function of x, this cube root. Okay? So, in order to make this more straightforward for us, we're going to write this as cos x to the power of one third, okay? Because these are synonyms. So u in this case will be cos x, and y will be u to the power of a third. So du by dx will be minus sine x, cosine differentiates to minus sine, and y will differentiate to one third u, and then take one from the power, so minus two thirds. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So we can see we have a minus sign there. So we've got minus one third. We've got the sine x. And then we've got the u to the minus two thirds. Okay? So u was cos x. So we have cos x to the minus two thirds. Now, with problems like these, it may well be that you have to resort to using the long-winded chain rule in how you set it out, because it makes these problems much more straightforward. You can go about this um, by looking at it and finding each piece, because the third will come down to the front, as it did here. The derivative of what's inside came outside, so that's the minus sine x, and then I took one off the power. Okay? And so you can see it that way as well.